I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we have another homemade seasoning blend. You guys love these so much you keep asking for more. I have had many requests to share this Italian seasoning blend with you and today is the day. So let's go see how we put this all together. Alright, we're going to get started and we're going to go over all of the spices that are going into our homemade Italian seasoning blend. I bet most of you have most of these sitting on your spice rack or wherever it is you keep your seasonings and spices and herbs and all those good things. Um, if you don't have one or two, big deal. Just make it without. Don't go out of your way to buy all of these things. Um, if you don't have them, if those are things you don't use on a regular basis, I wouldn't go out of my way. But um, this is my version of a good Italian seasoning. And what we have here are two tablespoons of oregano, two tablespoons of dried basil, two tablespoons of dried parsley, two tablespoons of dried marjoram. Again, I'm a fan of the marjoram. I think marjoram gets underused. It is in the same family as oregano, but it has a milder flavor. A tablespoon, just one, of dry thyme, uh, one tablespoon of rubbed sage, also a tablespoon of ground rosemary. I always like my rosemary to be ground because I don't like eating a Christmas tree. Uh, you're also going to need a tablespoon each of dry minced garlic, dry minced onion, garlic powder, and that's granulated garlic powder, also granulated onion powder, a teaspoon of red pepper flake, and a tablespoon of cracked black pepper. Now I have opted to make my Italian seasoning blend salt free. If you would like to add salt to yours, go ahead and add a tablespoon or two of salt to this blend and then you can use it to season accordingly. I prefer to leave mine salt free, that way I can salt later depending on what I'm making, maybe I don't want to salt it if it already has salt in it, or maybe I'm going to salt it using another type of seasoning. So that's what we're going to do. And just like all the other seasoning blends that we've used or made in the past, rather, I'm just going to go ahead and, and gather all these things up together in my parchment, just like this. I'm going to go ahead and kind of fold it in at the end here. Pour it into a mason jar. Or if you have an old, you know, a clean glass jar, an old jelly jar, or an old spaghetti sauce jar or something like that, just pour it in there, pop the lid on it, and give it a good shake, and blend it all up well. If you prefer a less chunky version of an Italian seasoning, you can feel free to run this through your coffee grinder or your spice grinder um, and grind this up further until it's a fine powder. I like Italian seasoning to be all herby and chunky so you can see exactly what's in there. Look at how beautiful that is. That's great. That's how you make my version of an easy Italian seasoning blend. You can use this in anything. I am actually going to use this to fill up my little jar of Italian seasoning that I keep on my spice rack. And then the rest of it I am going to be using to make some homemade Italian dressing. Uh, if you'd like to see how I make my homemade Italian dressing using the seasoning, leave a comment down below in the comment section and uh, we'll see how that goes. If you like this video today, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. So I hope you give this homemade Italian seasoning blend a try. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Oh, that smells so good. It does smell amazing. Mm. Now see, that one's delicious. Mmm. Oh, I like that one too. Mmm.
So far, this is my favorite. Mmm, that one's yummy. Okay, 